Cell phones, just about everyone's got one, but as our generation makes them part of our everyday life, doctors are looking into how they affect our health. More and more younger women are being diagnosed with breast cancer, and doctors are now having to ask questions they never did before. KMIR 6's Miriam Zamorano has been women thinking twice about where they're placing their cell phones. We talk, text, even surf the web on them, but do you ever think about where you store your cell phone and its effect on your health? I used to put it in my pocket if I have any packets or in my back. So always it's close to me. Sometimes in my bra, my back pockets, wherever I can. Like many women, nursing student Shanika Brown keeps her cell phone close by for convenience. I don't always have my purse on me. Sometimes I run out of the house, I don't have it, so I just put it wherever. Olga admits she does it too. So always we, we do that. Where you put it, especially in your bra, could be a little too close for comfort, according to some doctors. This is like a, a model of the breast. Dr. Rie Ihara, breast cancer surgeon at Regional Breast Care in Fort Myers, says cell phone usage has tripled over the past decade. There's a lot of um, questions regarding whether or not there's any uh, association of uh, cell phone usage with uh, uh, cancer, and specifically uh, in the past, uh, a lot of uh, issues about brain tumors, and now about breast cancer as well. She says there are a lot of factors contributing to the increased number of breast cancer cases. With today's technology always changing, it's hard to keep track if putting your cell phone near your breast is harmful or not. I think it's important, you know, when somebody young comes in to really uh, question about if they do do that, um, because until unless we ask and unless there's voluntary information, we really don't know what the cause and effects are. Even though it's not directly proven that cell phones are causing cancer, I did find under my settings tab there's a legal notice advising you to keep your cell phone 10 millimeters away from your body. That's about the width of your thumb, which begs the question, what's happening when the phone is directly on your skin? Dr. Ihara explains. What cell phones do, uh, they emit something called a radio frequency uh, energy, which is a type of non-ionizing radiation. Basically, if you have it near your, your body, certainly that body part that's exposed um, can absorb that radiation. And it's really the antenna part uh, that's crucial. The phone notice says it has been tested and meets applicable limits for radio frequency exposure. But for younger women still developing, the doctor says more research needs to be done, along with looking into how much time we're spending on the phone and where we store it. It doesn't cause DNA damage per se, but it certainly can heat up the, the body, uh, the tissue right next to that area. Did you ever think that your cell phone of where you place it could possibly be linked to any sort of cancer? I mean, I've heard things like that. I've read things about it, but I, I guess I'm just don't pay attention to it because I still place it and my bra sometimes when I'm jogging. Shanika Brown says she will try to put her phone elsewhere for now, something Olga will also pay attention to. After this interview, of course. <laughs> Dr. Ihara tells us a study is currently underway looking at cell phone usage over the years and it's linked to a variety of diseases, but those results are not expected for the next 20 to 30 years, so it may be a while before we know if there is a direct impact of cell phones and breast cancer. In the meantime, she recommends using hand-free devices whenever you can, and as much as possible, keep your cell phone away from your skin.